Hello everyone! So you want to make a lot of money in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, sometimes it feels bad when you see an item that costs a lot and you actually can't buy it. For this of course you need to have lots of bells to feel comfortable buying any item out there. I still think that trading is the best way to do it because people are willing to pay much more uh, when there are items there they either can get or it can save them a lot of time. That being said, the old items are actually a fantastic way to make lots of bells by the millions even. So today two items, old items are available, one of them is the silo and then you can see here it sells for 27, almost 28k. Now this is a great opportunity to make a lots of bells. The thing is this, you need to pay attention which items are sold and even check them out if you are not sure how much they are sold for. Now as you can see here, I have tons of uh, materials to just accumulate, I don't do anything with them, just sit down, take space in the storage. And this is a great opportunity to make some space and of course make some money by using them. So let's take a look at the silo. You can see it needs iron nugget, hardwood, clay and stone. But not too many hardwood so it won't be kind of uh, uh, too much. Uh, but 12 of each uh, and it's you know compared to what I have uh, this is easy for me. And I told myself something that I can spend those uh, materials which I don't know what to do with them to be honest. Uh, so this is a great way to just spend many of those and make lots of money. And I actually needed the bells because I have a kind of a shortage and it feels really bad. For example, yesterday there was a cello that I wanted to buy but it cost 130k and was too much and I didn't have a lot. Uh, you're going to see my bank account very shortly. So eventually I've decided to just go and just make tons of those silos and sell them to Nook Granny shops. Now another thing to keep in mind that uh, if you just sell those materials separately, you won't get such high value for it. So if for example I just sold uh, all the materials needed to craft the file, I won't get close to what I get if I just craft the item itself. Of course not every item is worth it, of course there are some items worth much less. That's why it's important to pay attention each day and eventually you'll come across an item that is really worth to make because it's going to sell for a lot of uh, bells and you're going to have lots of materials of this one so you can craft many of those. Now I did several runs for that. This is the first run uh, which I sold uh, the first batch of uh, silos. So let's take a look. So for all these, and see it's not too much. Uh, I got a total of almost 400k. This is crazy. Now let's take a look at my uh, bank account so you can see how much money I actually had. Uh, at this point before this I had only uh, around 530k. Uh, but now, <laughs> and this is for uh, quite a long time by the way, I very, found it very hard to earn money lately. But as you can see I made it in just 2 minutes, 3 minutes, something like that. And just the time it took me to actually craft. Uh, the silos. Now I went to another batch and craft some more and then went back to Nuke's Cranny again and sold the second batch as you can see here. This time I had even more. I was a bit greedy. <laughs> now of course I want to make money, I'm poor. Don't laugh at me. I need these bells, I need those bells, I need to buy items. So let's speed things up. And I got for those, let's check it out. Five hundred and thirty k. Now I went to the bank also to deposit this, and look how much money I made so quickly. Whew, can't believe it, and I'm over a million. A funny thing is that I actually forgot one, <laughs> so I went back and sold uh, another one. Uh, and if you think this is enough, no, I went back to craft some more. So instead of having tons of uh, materials just lying around which I don't do anything with, so I just went and sold again the third batch for almost 300k. So again I went back to the ABD and in, uh, put it and you can see that overall made around uh, 1.3 million, a little bit above, 1.3 million bales in a very very short time. Now again, keep in mind that trading is the best way because some people can pay you a lot of money for uh, uh, things that re they really either really need, they can't get it, or they're going to save them time. So this is the best way. But still, check out the um, 
uh, odd items in your island and make lots of money from them. I wish you good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.